Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run one sample t-test using Python. So in my previous video, I have already explained that how to run the normality testing on the data. Once we have established normality in the data, we can use the parametric test on the data. So we will run first type of parametric test that is one sample t-test. In this test, in this test, we are comparing the sample mean with the population mean. And the null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between the population mean and the sample mean. Now, how we can run this test? Let's see in Jupyter Notebook. So, first of all, we will import pandas as pd, import numpy as np, import researchpy as rp. If you have not activated this library, you will have to go in command prompt and you will have to write down there pip install research pi. pip install research pi so that this library can be activated. Once the installation is over, you can come here, import research pi as rp. Now, df is equal to pd.read underscore csv. We will have to specify the path from where the data set has to be brought in this Jupyter Notebook. We have not run the first line and therefore it is giving an error. So now you can see the data frame is there. Now I want to compare the salary with the population mean. So first of all, I will have to extract the salary from this data frame and therefore I am running the command line df is equal to df 2 times square bracket inverted comma salary. Now I want to compare the mean salary this with the population salary which is 50,000. So I will write down the command stat comma dot t test underscore one sample df square bracket two times salary population mean is 50,000. Our null hypothesis is there is no significant difference in sample mean and population mean. Alternative is there is significant difference in sample mean and population. Now you can see here the p value. It's e raised to minus 64 and therefore it is you can say less than 0 0.05 and therefore we reject that the sample mean and population mean are are, are same. They are quite different. Now let, let us run this test at 35,000. Now you can see that the p-value is more than 0 0.05. We fail to reject null. It means that sample mean and population mean are nearer to each other. So this is a way you can run one sample t-test in Python. For more videos on uh, data science using Python, kindly subscribe to my channel. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of data science using Python. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video.